Now tonight we're taking you to Butte where Mining City residents are preparing this week to commemorate the worst firefighting disaster in the city's history. MTN's John Amy brings us the story of a warehouse fire and explosion more than a century ago that devastated the community. It was on this spot in Butte 123 years ago when a massive explosion would shake the mining city. It blasted out city windows, it shook the city. Uh, you could feel it miles away, hear it miles away. They saw it in Belgrade and they heard, heard it in Willow Creek, it was so large. January 15, 1895, Butte firefighters were called out to a fire at the Kenyon Connell Warehouse on East Iron Street. They didn't know the warehouse was packed with tons of dynamite. It was the first paid fire department uh, in the greatest city in the Northwest. And uh, they had came to that fire to do what firemen do. And sadly enough, they lost their lives. The fire set off three large explosions as firefighters arrived on the scene. It leveled buildings on the block and instantly killed 13 firefighters. In an incredibly sad tragedy, we lost all but three. On top of that, another 40 plus citizens who had rushed in after the first blast to do what Butte people do and lost their lives. This empty lot is the location of the Kenyon Connell Warehouse, and it remains empty more than 120 years after the disaster. This utility pole sort of represents the unofficial marker for Ground Zero. A few years ago, somebody wrote, no memory on this pole, but the Butte History Club hopes that this disaster will never be forgotten. I think it's important for Butte to remember this is the second greatest disaster that Butte has had in its history compared to the Granite Mountain Speculator mine fire. And yet, m majority of people in this town don't seem to even know about this one. The club hopes to remind people by inviting them to a memorial service Sunday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at the fire station on Mercury Street. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. I had never heard about that before. I lived in Butte for 10 years and I had never heard about it. So I'm glad I've heard about it now though. Me too. By the way, at this week's ceremony, there will be plans unveiled for a new memorial to honor those killed in the fire and the subsequent explosion.